This is a tradition that brings thousands of people together to give thanks and also give back. 2023 actually marks the 44th year for the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner. Volunteers have worked all week. Some got up early this morning to make sure everyone has turkey and trimmings. The night team's John Perales. John Paul Barajas takes us inside this year's event at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. For some, it's a warm meal on a cold day. The dinner was one of the best. I, I took three home with me. <laughs> For others, the Raul Jimenez Thanksgiving dinner is a staple. Since 1979, it's given thousands of people a place to celebrate the holiday without worrying about the meal. How was the food? Good. Good, you liked it? I really like the bread and the pie. The oh, white pie. Oh yeah, the turkey I really like. And no post-turkey naps here. Music brought plenty of people away from their tables and onto the dance floor. You were getting down pretty good on the dance floor. Talk to you about the dancing. How are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm fine. A little bit short of the breath, but I love it. It's that sense of joy and unity that makes the work of 4,000 volunteers more than worth it. That group includes the grandson of the dinner's namesake, Raul Jimenez. It's a community event. We're very blessed to have this opportunity year in and year out. But it's a way to get the best of humanity, the best of the city of San Antonio. And we look forward to 45. John Paul Barajas, ASAP, 12 News. I love that event. This year's event fed 25,000 people, including plates for those who are homebound. By the way, any leftovers were actually given to Daily Bread Ministries, and they that organization went ahead and fed those experiencing homelessness. So the food went to good use.